Okay, so here's Bob McDowell and Michael Parsons. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Michael Parsons. I think I'm known to most people, if you're not, but we'll come to that later. Um, I'd, I'd like to introduce you to Bob McDowell, who is the Finance Minister of Alderney, and he's about to tell you what he's been working on with me on Bitcoin. Yeah. Hello. Um, uh, uh, first of all, I'm sorry I'm not dressed for the occasion, but, you know, <laughs> su su such is life. Um, just a bit, bit of background. Um, Alderney's a small Channel Island. It's got a lot of its own legislative powers. Uh, it was one of the first jurisdictions to start the internet gaming business. I think you can see. Uh, one of the first jurisdictions to start the internet gaming business. Um, and uh, this came about because uh, we have a strong relationship with the Royal Mint. We've issued commemorative coins for the last 20 odd years. And I had a meeting with the Royal Mint in the summer when they came come over. And clearly, they were talking to me about, well, how do we, how, how do we work with these cryptocurrencies, as they put it? And the idea spawned from there that we would look to issue a physical Bitcoin. Um, I can't go too much into the, into the technical details because, and I think this will give you a hint as to how far it's got, we're under a commercial NDA because they're using some of the new technology. But we're, we're in the detailed discussions at the moment. And uh, the whole idea is that all the issues a commemorative Bitcoin, it would have the Bitcoin logo one side, the um, Omni logo the other side, um, there's a novelty to it, it would have a gold content, and uh, it, it, it's almost doing it back to front. But on the back of this, I think you can see there's a lot of, there's a lot of things that can elegantly be done. Um, you'll be pleased to know I've infuriated my fellow politicians in Guernsey over this, and, and good luck to them. Uh, um, uh, more importantly, if or, as we need jurisdiction, uh, regulation for this, I know people here don't like regulation, but it should not be tagged on to financial services regulation. It should be, to the extent it's necessary, it should be separate regulation and for Bitcoin or, or cryptocurrencies. And I would like to see uh, all the offshore jurisdictions have almost a collective regulator for this. It gives them power and uh, it, 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 it gives, a lot of people here won't mind, it gives respectability. So, um, so we're moving on it and uh, I'm confident we will uh, issuing these coins soon. Uh, they, give a, they, they, they give a good revenue base to the, to the island. But uh, I, I, I'll hand over to Michael Parsons to say a bit about uh, how we get together and... Uh, you know, the tech, some of the technical issues behind that. Thank you. <laughs> did, everyone, did everyone find that exciting? Yeah! Yeah, do you want to hear more? Yeah! How much more? Oh, All the secrets are some of the secrets. <laughs> All right, anyway, um, Bob and I met, I only met Bob about six months ago, through a very old friend of mine called Michael Manelli, who's uh, an alderman of the City of London recently, He's a professor in, in, uh, in, uh, in one of the college, Goldsmiths College, and he's an old friend of mine, and I would class him as, as a, a Renaissance man. In fact, I'd even say he's the Sir Isaac Newton of his generation. He really is. He's a very bright guy. And he introduced me to um, Bob uh, in June last year in a restaurant called Sweetings, yep. Sweetings, and, that the, um, and we were discussing regulation. The, the lunch cost me £250. Oh. We had a lot of pork. I didn't know that. So at the end of the report, we have this. The, the, whole, the, whole, the whole point of the, of the meeting was to discuss regulate, regulation of, uh, of Bitcoin under a, under a friendly regime. Yeah. Because Alderney is very well known for regulating gambling. In fact, in fact Alderney has more um, gambling companies than the total of uh, Malta, uh, Gibraltar, and I think Cyprus combined. So they've got a, quite a good reputation for that. So we were thinking that if we can get Alderney to, to provide soft regulation, not that we, Bitcoin doesn't require regulation, but soft regulation, then we would be, be the first jurisdiction in the world to have a Bitcoin ecosystem in a friendly country. Go ahead. Remember, this, isn't that great? This is the next Alderney is a unique, a unique country in the world. There is no country like it in the world. It was independent before World War II. Uh, then after the Germans, it got taken over. 
and then it, and now it became part of the it's now part of the bailiwick of Guernsey, but it does retain a certain measure of independence, and it can write its own legislation. Now Bob here, and I think the important point is we can write our legislation and pass it within about two months, which is which is quite extraordinary, as opposed to five years in the UK. Also, Bob is the equivalent of George Osborne in the UK. He reports to the president, who's the head of government, and he reports to the Queen of England. So this is the first time in the world anyone from government has come to us. Is that good? Yeah. Before, in America, we're all going to the government and doing, please, please help us. But the government's coming to us. And I can say something else, that the UK government has asked me and Bob to advise them on cryptocurrencies. And they're currently writing a policy on cryptocurrency and they've asked for us to provide the template. Now no one knows that. You're the first person in the world to know that. We are providing a template for the UK government. Now, shall I? It, it pays to wear a grey suit and a tie sometimes. I think so, yes. So the fact that Bob is dressed in a suit and a tie and I'm dressed in that, we're, we're not, I wouldn't say we're closet anarchists, but, we're, but we, we, we just, we're like misbehaviors in the world system. And we believe in everything you guys believe in, everything and more. But we are the guys that can make it happen with your help, not alone, with your help, with your help, because we need your help to do that. But do you want to know another secret? Yeah. What the plan is, the plan is, the ultimate plan is, is that Alderney could become the centre of excellence for virtual currencies. And then we would propagate virtual currencies around the world so they'd run them in parallel with their own currencies. And the company we've got for that, has anyone not seen Breaking Bad? <laughs> Hands up, who knows about Breaking Bad? Do you like it? Yeah. We, and Breaking Bad means, the reason that it's called Breaking Bad, the name, is, is something really bad on the other side. We have called our company Breaking Bit. Breaking Bit. Breaking Bit will take virtual currencies where they haven't been before to other governments. How do I get a passport? Passport? Very easy. Let me, let me pass that to Bob. Uh, uh, unfortunately, the, the, I, I, have a, I have a Guernsey passport. Uh, they're, they're, the, they're, they're the issuers, but. Uh, but if you've got a UK passport, hop over and uh, take up residence for a while and you can get, you, you can get one. <laughs> so really, if that's all I want to say. I mean, on, on the coin, by the way, the coin um, has got some special technology. We're yeah. under NDAs, yeah. but we can, we can actually mention what's on the internet, yeah. can't yeah. we? Yeah. Yes, we can. If you Google the word ISIS, yeah. it's a special technology. We are going to work with the Royal Mint yeah. and produce the world's first, first, non-counterfeitable physical coin backed by the world's first non-counterfeitable digital currency. How cool is that? Woo! How cool is that? Yeah. Well, obviously, anything can be broken on counterfeit, but we are producing the first one. So that's, that's not a secret. If you Google the word ISIS, it will tell you about it, but not how it works. How it works, we can't tell you. I think, I think that's about it. Um, I think so, yes. Yeah. Um, I, I'm sure there's loads of questions, but uh, uh, I, I, we'll, we'll take three questions. All right, take three questions. For three questions. What's the weather like over there? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that, 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 that's not a question, but yeah, we'll answer that. Yeah, yeah let me answer that. Um, I was supposed to get here earlier, but there was a force eight gale, so the little plane didn't take off till four o'clock. But uh, yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> so, so Bob almost didn't make it. So we never heard these secrets. Second question. Lady there. Why should what? You mentioned that the UK government is asking for you to provide a template for regulation. Yes, I mean the UK government is taking a... a My question is, why are you going to ask for that for providing for that template? Why us? Who are you going to ask? Who are you going to ask? Well, basically everyone here, everyone here. I mean, we, 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 are, we are not the masses... Is there going to be an open forum? It's an open forum, yes. Open forum, yes. I'm, I'm already working with, uh, with, the, uh, with Eddie George on the Challenger Committee and leading the Bitcoin Committee where we're going to number 10 government and the uh, cabinet office 
officially, but unofficially we're going there as well. So they're asking us. So it's everyone can be involved. It's not just me. I don't have the. My job is the enabler. I'm not the. I'm, I'm not the expert. One more question. One more second. So right, right. You said, can you, can you comment on the tax position with HMRC? I can comment on that. I was there with um, Tom Robinson, who led the meeting, and uh, Mark Warren of Bid Initiatives, and uh, Isaac, who was from there, was all there. And basically, HMRC, on the spot, decided that they would treat Bitcoin as exempt for VAT, not at 20%. And they said that anyone that's got any guidance, they would withdraw that guidance on the spot immediately. So as of now, Bitcoin is treated as exempt for from, from 20% VAT, not at 20 what? They're not going to publish guidance. The reason, the reason being is that to do that, they have to they have to treat Bitcoin as a currency and with legal tender. There's two issues here. One is HMRC isn't powerful enough in government to designate Bitcoin as a currency, and secondly, to designate it as legal tender takes they told me five years, five years with the EU, five years. So, but in the meantime, they will treat Bitcoin as if it were a currency and as if it were legal tender, but not officially. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I'd like to add one other thing. All these not part of the EU, you'll be pleased to know. <laughs> Excellent news. So on that note, let me finish and pass you back to Paul. We have one more question. Paul, one more question. Last question. You said, you said earlier that you want feedback from this community. Yes. In what way? In what way? How do we communicate? Uh, well, speak to Paul first, and he'll be the filter. <laughs> yep. Okay, thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.